for real. I, I, I won. I did win once, okay? I uh, <sighs> went to jail not too long ago, so thanks, bitch. But uh, it's cool, though. You know, I rap for 15 years, so I got to keep my street cred up somehow, you know. But for most people going to jail the first time, I feel like you're a little timid, you know? Even if it's just on the inside. Just a little voice in your head that's like, fuck. Well, this is certainly new. <laughs> you know, I feel like most people probably have a little bit of worry in their step. And I would have. I'm not going to lie to you in front or nothing. Hands down, I absolutely would have. But I went to jail with Steve. <laughs> so for those of you who are not familiar, that's like walking into the Playboy Mansion with Hugh Hefner or a gunfight with John Wick, okay? Plus I had booze and cocaine in my system, so that mixed with the comfort of being escorted to my cell with a, my own personal fucking bodyguard is a pretty rad and not a bad way to do your first night. So whatever the equivalent of kicking in the door and strutting on in like I own the fucking place is exactly what I did. <clears throat> I already knew Steve well enough. But I was just about to see Gangster like I had never seen him before. I'm going to paint you a little picture, okay? There's a cell. You got four bunks. They're set up like two bunk beds side by side. Open floor, a few mats lean on the wall to the left, toilet and a sink on the wall to the right. In between, hollow, cold floor space. Both bottom bunks were occupied, and one of the ones at the top was too, and the other one's open. So Steve walks in. He leans over, picks up a mat, slaps me in the back, and points to the open bunk as if I'm now allowed to occupy that space. So I hop up. Steve tosses the mat on the floor in the corner, and I figure, damn, man, how fucking genuine is that? Just, oh, no, 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 no. He uh, walks over without speaking and slaps the guy on the shoulder on the bottom bunk. The guy wakes up, looks at Steve. Steve looks back at the guy. Steve points to the mat on the floor, and the fucking guy gets up, walks over, and lays on the mat. Now, with the kindness of his fucking gangster heart, he tossed the dude the pillow that he was using, and then Steve got settled in real nice. Yeah, no, 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 there's no punchline. I just like to tell stories about my brother being a fucking gangster. But, uh, yeah, we woke up the next day, we processed out, and uh, fucking Takashi 6 9 over here came and picked us up. <laughs> Regular life resumed. Oh, man, that's crazy.